Tesla has been a pioneer when it came to different categories of electric vehicles, such as the electric supercar, Roadster, electric sedan, Model S, and electric truck, Cybertruck. That being said, Elon Musk hinted about a new category of Tesla vehicle, Tesla van. But it seems like competitors are starting to get ahead. Does this mean Tesla will miss out on a whole new category of clients and money? Or is this just a cloud by the Tesla competition? Let's find out. Elon Musk and Tesla are set to thrill the tech world again with a new plan for the company's next major car project after the Cybertruck, Semi, and Next Generation Roadster. In a recent Twitter post, Musk highlighted the RoboVan, stating perhaps Tesla should create a highly customizable RoboVan for people and cargo. His remarks suggest that Tesla looks to be testing the waters for a RoboVan, which could be used for both people and freight. The concept drew generally favorable responses from electric car community. However, some pointed out to Musk that Tesla already has a lot on its plate with the Cybertruck. Although Musk claims that he seems to have some broad thoughts concerning the Tesla RoboVan. Musk answered with a winking emoji when the Tesla owner's Silicon Valley organization asked whether it would be feasible to manufacture an all-electric vehicle more significant than the Tesla Model X. It may seem like Musk is coming up with the notion of a Tesla RoboVan from nowhere, but this is honestly not the case. He allegedly referenced RoboVan at an all-hands meeting with Tesla workers in September of 2021. The Tesla CEO later discussed the car earlier this year. During the discussion, Musk said that the RoboVan would not only be capable of carrying many people, but would also be engineered so that persons with impairments could simply get in and out of the vehicle. Musk comments on the RoboVan's ability to transport both passengers and freight might point to a method used by several van manufacturers today. Volkswagen, for instance, just debuted the all-electric ID, Buzz, which is available in cargo or people-optimized models. Cargo versions of all-electric vans have a lot of potential because they could be helpful for small businesses that do local deliveries. Volkswagen isn't alone in this venture. Established automakers all over the globe are shattering their business models in the expectation of adapting to a new future in which electricity replaces gasoline and diesel. Electric vehicle factories are being rebuilt and manufacturers are buying up every battery they can get. The exorbitant expense of producing electric vehicles forces some businesses to seek partners while others become acquisition targets. Mercedes-Benz and Rivian established a new joint venture Thursday to create bespoke big commercial electric vehicles. The companies inked an agreement to begin strategic cooperation that will invest in a new facility to utilize an existing Mercedes-Benz site in Central or Eastern Europe, Rivian's first foray into the continent. The carmaker has just one production site in the United States. There will be two van models, one on Mercedes van's electric architecture platform and the other on Rivian's second-generation electric van platform, Rivian Light Van. Mercedes-Benz has been producing commercial vans for over two decades. It has manufacturing knowledge and resources that, when paired with Rivian's electric platform expertise, might enable the new manufacturer to succeed despite its low resources. Despite the increased expenses connected with the e-mobility revolution, we aim to maintain our position as the only van manufacturer producing big vans in Germany, said Mercedes-Benz van's head, Matthias Geisen. Rivian CEO RJ Scarange said, We think that together we can develop genuinely extraordinary electric vehicles that will not only help our clients, but the globe. Rivian's shares rose over 10% at the beginning of the market, from $34.90 to $36.26 on news of the new joint venture. Rivian now has a deal with Amazon to manufacture a total of 100,000 electric delivery vehicles. The total was supposed to be completed by 2024, but Amazon now expects the entire purchase to be delivered by 2030. The first ones have just recently begun to arrive in cities, including Baltimore, Chicago, Dallas, Kansas City, and Seattle for testing, with a total of 100 locations expected by the year's end. Rivian's agreement with Amazon is non-exclusive and the manufacturer said that it expects to start selling electric vans to other organizations in 2023. Even though the electric vehicle has had some problems in the past, 
Auto executives and analysts agree that a time has come when everyone will have to buy one. This will happen because battery costs are going down, regulators are pushing for it, and the government is offering a lot of money to help people buy them. All of these things have come together to force the traditional industry to take electrification seriously faster than we thought. This is now happening for real. This incredible rise in demand for electric vehicles is being felt all around the globe, from Shanghai to Stuttgart, Tokyo to Toronto, and from emerging businesses to industry stalwarts. It is very severe in Europe. Between April and June of this year, one of every 12 automobiles sold on the continent operated only on batteries. When hybrid vehicles with engines and batteries are included, the figure jumps to one in three. Electric vehicle sales in Europe have increased from 198,000 in 2018 to a projected 1.17 million this year. Although electric vehicles account for less than 1% of the worldwide passenger car fleet, sales are fast increasing. Further analysis shows that one quarter of new vehicles purchased in China and roughly 40% of those bought in Germany will be electric within four years. Global EV sales are expected to reach 10.7 million by 2025 and 28.2 million by 2030. Demand was increasing at such a rapid pace that the new objectives were third higher. Today, the Volvo-backed firm does over 1,000 test drives monthly in the United Kingdom alone. Last year, 9 out of 10 automobiles leaving Volvo's Reading showroom were exclusively powered by gasoline or diesel. Almost half now have a hybrid or full electric technology. New slots are filled up within an hour of becoming available each week. Polestar used to specialize in tuning high-performance combustion engines. Currently, it is one of the firms attempting to capitalize on the burgeoning demand for battery automobiles. This isn't the niche market it was two or three years ago, says Jonathan Goodman, Polestar's UK CEO. Until recently, many drivers thought electric cars were a thing of the future. Nonetheless, it is now typical to envisage their new automobile being electric. Every now and again, a slow-burning change in how the world works picks up speed and accelerates. That is, precisely what is occurring with electric automobiles. In a very short time, the automotive industry has progressed from first to fifth gear, given the centrality of car manufacturing to many countries. The upheaval that is beginning to rock the sector has far-reaching consequences for employment urban development, and even geopolitics. It's that seismic. It alters everything, and to such a degree that any players who don't pivot quickly enough, who don't spend, are unlikely to live into the future. Much of the emphasis on electric cars has been on Tesla's remarkable success or the ambitious goals of a group of Chinese corporations. The reaction of the major automakers, on the other hand, has been a significant change in recent times. Many of the world's largest multinational companies, from Ford with its F-150 Lightning truck to Volkswagen with its ID lineup, are now betting their future on EVs. The Munich Motor Show, the first major European exposition in two years due to the epidemic, featured nearly no new petrol cars. The electric and connected automobile industries have drawn more than $100 billion in investment since the beginning of 2020. And that's just the beginning. Car makers have announced a total of $330 billion in investment in electric and battery technologies over the next five years, which has increased 40% in the last year. This is what led several manufacturers to phase out the internal combustion engine entirely, which was previously unimaginable. Earlier this year, the German firm credited with inventing the automobile announced one of the most ambitious timelines in the industry. The methods used to construct all Mercedes-Benz vehicles will transition to generating electric versions by the middle of this decade. We are on a far faster pace than we anticipated even a few years ago, says Ona Kalanius, CEO of Mercedes-Benz owner Daimler. What is the significance of this now? Politics contributes to the explanation. While automakers have been talking about releasing electric vehicles for years, political pressure has pushed them to undertake the first genuine determined attempt to sell them in considerable quantities. Emissions regulations in Europe prompted the first large wave of electric vehicle sales last year. Despite pandemic lockdowns, 734,000 battery models were sold throughout the continent in 2020, which was twice the amount in 2019 and more than the preceding three years combined. And there are more coming. Thanks for watching.